Welcome back, I'm MJ Haggis and in this episode of my Let's Play of SnowRunner in the mod map of Northbrook you can see we're jumped into the Tega. The Tega has been fitted with a high saddle for this trailer. Now it would appear that the Freightliner does not connect to this tank for some reason. I did try it, I was setting up recording and doing all the, the early prep stuff, brought the trailer over because I realised I was actually parked at the wrong trailer. Um, the high saddle is required for that big trailer, but also for this one, and it wouldn't connect. It just, there's no option to connect it. So I brought the Tega out, tried it with a low saddle just to check, and it definitely says use a high saddle. Went back, reconfigured it, brought out the high saddle, and it works. Now I think it is because of the thing at the back of the Freightliner. It's too big, and it won't allow the connection. So... That's my basis, because it, it will connect to that trailer in the background. But anyway, I have figured something out. So we're using the Tega, and we're going to take this down to the factory area. That's the plan. So as you can see, we are at the garage area, and we are going to go all the way down to this corner to drop it off, which is right next to the step deck semi-trailer. Now, I think that could be a low saddle one. So once we've done this with the Tega, we're going to probably have to get the Tega back to the garage and reconfigure it with a low saddle. Um, I was wanting to use the Tega with a standard low saddle trailer for other moving stuff about, moving cargo about, and the low saddle is the predominant saddle you will need. That's the gist of things. Okay, so now you're up to speed. Everything else is pretty much as it is. I haven't moved the yard. It's still there. We'll, if we get time, we'll try and shimmy that round the map a bit more and, and use the, the prototype exploration unit trailer. Uh, and that's that. Right. Okay, wakey, wakey. We are off to drive. And the rain is in, as expected. Okay, we are good. It's a bit s snug in behind that crane, but it does work. I did have to test it, though I know it works. Now, it does say about getting this dropped off and don't spill any. Now, I don't know if that's referring to just, like, don't use any fuel. I'm going to cut across the grass. That corner's less sharp. Sorry. So yeah, if it means don't use any fuel, that's fine. We won't need to. I'm just going to pop in here and just double check. Everything is topped up to the brim. Right, fuel for me. And yeah, 5,000 litres. That's a good sized trailer. Off we go. I'll just need to take it easy with the mod that I temporarily moved for the realistic weights and the mud and the water. That is back in again. And this could potentially be quite a heavy trailer. I don't want to end up slipping down some of these steep hills and crashing, as you have seen me do previously. But I'm optimistic. The Tega is good. I'll just need to take it easy. Not a race. I'm hoping the mud tires will keep enough traction to get up the hills as well. Yeah, quickly dropped into high ratio and it, uh, that improved things. Oh, the rain stopped already. Hey, the sun will be out. We've got a little bit more exploration to the south to do, nothing too major. But I do want to get it done. I just wanted to get at least one of the contracts done. I feel like I'm making a bit of contractual progress. And this was easy enough. Ooh, getting a little bit snaky out here. Oh, I'm going to get a tree, hit a tree. Oh. Okay, that's slightly... I didn't expect the slope there to be so steep that I was going to lose control, but I went into a speed wobble, and there was nothing I could do about that, really. I 
it does almost make me want to put a truck out there, even if it's the freight liner, and stick highway tyres on. Right, definitely taking the easy going down here. Yeah, put the highway tyres on and see how much difference that does for driving on this road. Because in theory, it should make a difference. Can we venture into automatic and go a bit quicker? Little bursts of acceleration just to keep it moving, but keep it in a, a straight as line as possible. Too fast. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's still trying to go. Okay. Just caught that at the end. And the trailer that's got the 770 truck on it, and well, the disassembled one, that's going to more than likely be a high saddle so maybe we're going to get a little bit more use out of this high saddle on the Tega after all but short of using one of the DLC trucks which I'm not so keen to do on the basis of I want to kind of use what the mod map maker has provided and only having the Freightliner and this guy we don't yet have the Voron. The GMC, I don't think, is the right truck for the job. With the high, I don't think it can fit the high saddle anyway. But the point is, high saddle. Keep it on the Tega at the moment until all use of it is done, and then switch to the low saddle. A good job climbing the hills there. That wasn't as bad as I thought. I thought I was going to end up using the winch. So far we're good. One more steep descent and we should be good. Up here and down we go. It's an interesting coloured fuel trail, that's for sure. They were trying to disguise it in the woods. Because that would be perfect for that. It's easy down this hill. This is on. Oh, it's already starting to go. Oh. Just managed to get it down in speed before it was going to end in disaster in that corner yet again. Okay, dodge my prototype exploration unit trailer, I do need to get further off the road or back to the garage maybe. Bit of a shame I don't get to keep this trailer at the end of this and use the fuel. 5,000 litres will come in so handy. You know, I'd almost be tempted to take some out of the fuel to see if it'll still accept the mission and just top it up into that, my fuel trailer. In fact, you know what? Let's do it. It's an experiment. Whoa, I'm drifting. Okay, can we still reach? Should be able to. Refuel from this thing into my one. Let's just top me up while we're at it. Right, if this works, then great. But it does say even there, get it to the factory and try not to spill any. Well, I haven't spilled any, I've just borrowed some. I don't think it's just a, like a... Oh yeah, that worked. Happy with that. Rank 10. 
So it doesn't matter if you take any, you could have maybe... I could have left it there for pretty much the whole of the time that we're here and just used it. But, nah, let's get, get them done. So that says, some tight roads out there, eh? Hope you didn't knock down too many trees. Aye, no kidding. 14,000 cash for that and 2,500 XP. Lovely. So there's a... Or let's, in fact, let's go and get that because that's ours as well. Oh no. What is it? Have we got it already? That's a low saddle. Right, nothing else hidden here. Nope. I'm now thinking, if we didn't get any XP for finding that trailer, did we get... Is there, there must be a contract or task for it then. Ah, time will tell. So what's this, if you haven't accepted it? Can't handle the pressure. The pumping station must be messing up. The water pressure has been getting lower and lower all week. Can you fix the problem for us? Yes. We're not doing the boat launch dock yet. Let's f see what this is. Service spare parts and small pipes. Deliver one pallet of small pipes. Ooh, okay. Okay. We'll add it to the list of jobs to do. At the moment, I think we're going to just park the Tega there until we figure out the next suitable task. Oh, is that the... Oh, the pipes are that bit. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Now, with having limited trucks, I'm kind of keen to get the Voron up and running. Uh, and then I want to get the Yar moved and find out what this truck is down here. So, priorities, curiosities getting the better of me. I think we'll jump into the Yar and try and figure out what this is and if it's going to become ours. And then we, if it is, great. We'll worry about what happens to it after we know what it is. Um, but I want to get the Voron, because that could be a mighty useful truck to have ready for use. So, let's jump in the yard. We'll drive north through the mud. It'll be slow and painful. We'll activate the, the trailer there to clear out that. Maybe head across to this area here towards the service trailer and open, uh, fire it up again and clear this area. And also see if this service trailer will become ours and a few more XP. It all counts at this stage. So, okay. Yeah, that's a lot of mud. But it's got to be done. See, I'm now... The question is, do you go through the middle and hope that the mud there is the non-super mud? Or do you go around the edge with the trees and potentially use the winch points that are there? Well, so far we are moving. So let's just stay on the tracks. Well, the middle of the low ratio seems to spin the wheels up the least, but keeps me at a reasonable speed. I was more concerned because this is a vanilla prototype exploration unit trailer, as a, opposed to the one that I brought out, which is the off-road. Slightly higher suspension, but we're moving. Surprisingly, that mud was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. And I'm not complaining about that. Something else lying about in here. Yeah, we're out of the mud. That wasn't nearly as bad as I thought. Still more up ahead though. Oh, yuck. Oh, and the rain's back on. Ah, oh, man. Right, okay. Do we go straight through the middle of that? I think we should. There is the odd tree nearby. Hey, okay. that's not bad either. That just makes you think it is. I'm 
get a wee bit more speed up the hill. Come on. Hold on, yar. Right, where are we on the map now? Do we want to probably get to that point there before we use the trailer? And then we're going to take a left down to there and then down to there. Okay, a bit more exploration. Here we go. Another steep hill, but it's not too bad with mud. I so enjoy exploring new maps. What you might find, is it going to be yours if you do find it? Right, here we go. Handbrake is on, special function, and number four. Let's view down into the muddy valley. I don't expect to find anything with this, it's just purely tidying up the map. Okay, pack it away. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's much tidier. Nothing really down there that I'm spotting. Not initially, anyway. You just never know when they're going to hide something. And there may well be something down there. I'm just not seeing it yet. Okay, let's move on. Get to the service trailer. Come on, Yark. This big tire should be gripping that road no problem at all. Really? It's like this guy has to be in all wheel drive. Oh, he's really chucking it up. That got a slightly dirty, but I'm I'm just surprised at not having it in all wheel drive. Is that still four wheel drive powering up the hill? And just couldn't do it. Not what I was expecting from something that looks as capable as this. I dare say there's a mod out there that gives this thing a bigger engine, maybe slightly better tyres, I don't know. I've never really looked for the Yar in the, the mod hub. Okay, there's our service trailer. Now let's just drop this thing. In fact, no, let's just fire it off. In. Area has been scanned. Beautiful. Okay. I was hoping it'd go a bit further out, but there's nothing in. I thought they might have something in here. But obviously not. Uh, pop that off. Let's venture forward. Well, venture forward, but in reverse. We're going to pull that service trailer out of there, hopefully. Tractor there. We'll junkyard this. We didn't get any XP for finding that either. Maybe I'm not close enough just yet. It's a bit strange. Park it up here. Yeah, that's 
not ours. Get off them. Go on round you go. Okay. I think we'll do the same with this guy. I'll just use the winch. So, much easier to turn them that way. Okay, let's put the engine off, have a wee look. We've not really gained a lot of information, so now I think we'll just venture over to this guy, and that was down to that junction there. And then... We should be, hopefully, another truck in the garage. Oh, we shall we'll probably just cut across the field, but we'll follow the road. Evening is setting in already. Seems like, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Seems like the evening's drawing even earlier than it did in the previous map. Where's the sun? Yeah, it's getting low. To top gear. They're struggling. Come on. I'll drop the trailer off here. There's no point taking it into that dead end. It's less of a pain getting rid of that trailer at this point. Right. Here we'll do it. That's a bit better. What are we going to find? Dark by the time we get there, let's put some lights on. What's it gonna be? There it is. What's that? Oh, what is that? A P? That's a Pacific. What is it? Oh, we didn't get any XP for finding, so that's gotta be a contract. That E five twelve is it a five twelve? I can't remember. I think it is. It's not ours. It's a logging truck of some sort out here. Interesting. Definitely can't change to it. Oh, we can change it. Why didn't we get XP for that? We just found a truck. You need to repair P sixty or P sixteen before you can use it. Ah, oh, we don't have any repair parts. That's a shame. We've got nothing left. We had 304 tires. But what does it need? Oh, it needs six and 790. That's a van add-on to get 800 and the six tires. Okay. But we've gained a P16. Interesting. Okay. Right, well, you live and learn. Hey, let's park this guy out the way. 
What are we going to do? I'm going to call it an episode here, guys, because in the next one, I would like to get the both the Voron and this P16 up and running and possibly back to the garage. Okay, you can't do anything until we've got this guy repaired. Can't jump in him, can't do anything. The P16, we can't... Oh, sorry, the Voron, we can. But he needs repair as well, so we probably need to bring down... The service trailer that's here. Oh man, I've got choices. I've got two service trailers we could use. We put the van add-on on a truck and drag a trailer and that'll get enough to repair both of those trucks in one go. And we've got fuel. Yeah. Question is, I think we should maybe take this other road. We haven't been this way. We'll pick up this service trailer and we'll use them both. Right, okay, we are... Yeah, he's fully stocked. Excellent. We are good to go for the next episode, guys. Please do come back and join me for that. It should be good. We get another couple of trucks, hopefully. Um, uh, if you enjoyed it, please do remember, hit a thumbs up. That helps the algorithm and helps YouTube show this video and uh, my Let's Play to other people as well who may be interested, hopefully. Right, guys, thank you so much for watching. You'll see me again soon. Bye for now.